up if you with it, drop it. Yo, what's good? What's good, everybody? This is Big Place Lay here. Come back with another video. And damn, this is the last time. Um, I like on a video, I'm gonna use that name. Ain't that crazy, man? Um, cause you know, I got the name rebranded coming real soon, but yeah, man. Anyway, let's just jump right into the video. So y'all know how this goes. We've already done it two weeks in a row. Week three performances, best performances. Um, I got five players, uh, in the future. I'm gonna probably do honorable mentions. Who knows? I could do it next week. Um, but just to clarify, like, uh, I'm going to be rebranding my whole name, like everything. I uh, don't want to ride on another man's swag. Pause. But yeah, man, let's just let's dive into the video. Um, This was a great week of football. and I can't wait to talk about it today. But yeah, man, first player, Jalen Hurts. Bro, he went crazy. 22 for 35, 340 yards, uh, three touchdowns, 123.5 passer rating. Uh, right now, I think as it stands, he has the highest QBR in the league, uh, and he's been balling. Um, you know, this is what happens when you get a, a spread offense and it's more dynamic. You add more players to the puzzle uh, that could do the uh, dirty work for you, but add players that can, you know, stretch the field, cause hell in the middle of the field, um... And just, like, you know, add a bonus to, like, mixing stuff up in the middle, you know. And then now you add more post-corner routes. Um, you're more dynamic with it. You're going four verts, but adding a little motion to it. It helps you, and that's what I like about it, man. And then people want to talk about how we play bad teams like the Vikings. They aren't even that bad. They're probably a playoff team by the end of the year. And the uh, Lions, they've been playing their ass off. And Washington, a lot of people were high on them this offseason. So I don't want to hear it. You play who you play, and he does not control who's on his team. So y'all might as well just stop it. Um, but Hurst played good. He played really, really well. Again, who's throwing them the football to get this, um, get to these passes? Uh, who's throwing them the football? Like, they would not be that open without a quarterback. Like, you need every player on the field, bro. It ain't just one player. You need every player on that field. Um, and it, it, it's, it helps him a lot that he's got new weapons. But the man played amazing. So, congrats up to him. NFC Player of the Month. I love it. Y'all know I'm an Eagles fan. So, y'all know I'm going to love it. Um, but number two, we got Cordell Patterson. Um, before I even go into him, I want to throw an honorable mention out there too, actually. Uh, Khalil Herbert and Matt Collins, they played really good too. Um, but there was just better players that played this week uh, for this specific week of football. Uh, Cordell Patterson, 17 carries, 141 uh, yards, one touchdown. I think he had like 32 yards on like three receptions. Um, but yeah, man, Cordell Patterson played amazing. Uh, and you expect this. Uh, this this Falcons offense looks a lot better than what people are giving for. Like they look really freaking good, um, and uh, everyone was doubting them this off season. They are not a walkover. The Rams, they played them tough. Seattle, they only lost by like I don't even think they lost. They won that game twenty seven to twenty three, and then it's like they they beat. Um, a team that beat the Broncos. So, you have to give some love to the Falcons. So, yeah, man, I can't wait to see how this Falcons team performs. But Cordell Patterson is a great piece of that offense. You got London and Pitts. Um, with him, you add another bonus to his receiving game. Uh, because if you're a guy like Arthur Smith, you know he could run, but he could also catch the football. That You know how that versatility comes with? A great offense. And that's what they look like right now. Um, and and I feel like with the way London's performing as the best rookie right now. And Pitts, he's going to get into his groove when you use him. 
this offense is going to be nice this year. So, great, great game from Cordell Patterson. Number three, the MVP right now, in my opinion, a Madden cheat code, uh, a literal glitch on the field. He's literally a Madden player on the NFL field in real life. <laughs> and Lamar Jackson. Action Jackson played amazing against the Patriots. Y'all know I wasn't high on the Patriots this year, so I expect the Ravens to beat them. But Lamar played amazing. 18 for 29, 218 yards, four touchdowns, one interception, um, 107 rushing yards, one touchdown. That boy played elite, man. He played elite football. And he's making his case for why he should win the MVP. Right now, he's the early favorite. Um, I feel like the man is just so good. And I personally believe that Ravens O-line... Shouldn't get most of the credit. Like, Linderbaum, Stanley, amazing football players. Morgan Moses, downside of his career, he's still decent. But if you had a pocket passer, like a pocket passer that just didn't run like that, I think that offensive line would have got him killed. But because Lamar is so good at getting out of the pocket and getting that ball off quick, it, it helps that offensive line. Um, And I just feel like Lamar... Lamar this year, he has something to prove. Injuries last year derailed the Ravens. And that that affected their record. They were 8-3. and three. When he got hurt, and then he came back, they didn't have enough to get to the playoffs. Y'all know the AFC is, like, really damn good. So, and they lost a game where they shouldn't have lost to the Dolphins. They just put their foot on the gas. A couple players went down, and that affected the game. But... Lamar been putting up Madden numbers, yo. This man is a glitch. I I feel so proud. I mean, I, I'm proud of him, I should say. Uh, but let Lamar keep doing his thing. Uh, just to run it back, they say. But anyway, though, Devontae Smith, number four. Bro, Devontae Smith is a dog. 164 yards, eight receptions, one touchdown. The man played elite, played elite football. This is what happens when you have two dangerous receivers. Three, um, and a dirty working receiver in Zach Pascal who doesn't get enough love. He gets blocks. He opens up the field, gets key first downs. But Devontae Smith was out there performing like crazy. This is what happens when you have one receiver that, you know, can get double team, but the other gets left open. That's the amazing part of having two really... Um, Good players. I, I mean, not good players, but good receivers. I'm not saying that Quez and Zach Pascal ain't, but like Devontae Smith is a dog. That man is a glitch. Um, I can say he's a glitch too because the way he mossed that one dude on the Washington Commanders, it was just disrespectful in so many ways. He ran a post corner. I don't even think it was a post corner. I was just a regular streak route. Jumped over him, and Hurts trusted him enough to throw it in tight, tight, tight coverage where only Devontae Smith could get it. And he threw a dot. Devontae Smith caught it um, only where he could get it in. Yeah, it looked like he kind of got hurt after that, but he was fine. That man got up, shaked it off, and then scored a touchdown right after that. Like, it's crazy how good this man is. Um, You just got to – this is what we want. Keep getting good looks. One receive good double team. And then just leave the other open. But amazing, amazing game from Devontae Smith. The last player I got here is Jeff Okuda, man. That boy locked up Justin Jefferson. And he, uh, the last three weeks, he locked up guys like Devontae Smith. Then, the Lions played the Commanders. Terry McLaurin didn't do the greatest against Jeff Okuda. This man has had a great rating. Um, he held Jefferson to six targets, three receptions, 100, I mean, not 114 yards, 14 yards um, against, in my opinion, a top five receiver. And he made him look like a fool. Uh, so I, I don't know, man. That's why I say you have to let players develop. Jeff Okuda played zero games last year. He got hurt last year. Um, I'm pretty sure he, 
I don't even think he played. Yeah, I know he didn't play a game last year. Um, but you look at what he did last year. He didn't play. His rookie year, he got burnt like toast. And then comes out this year and is putting on a performance. People already wanted to label him a bust. This will happen uh, when you call people bust. It just doesn't work out well for you because you don't give them time. And then they go out there and play great football. Like, you don't want to do that. That's why you have to let players develop and grow and see the next, like, like you can't just rule out players. It's not fair um, unless they actually just suck, suck. Um, but, yeah, man, he played great. He played great football, and I think he's going to keep performing like this. Um, I hope it's for another year or two. He stays consistent. But, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I got the Dolphins winning tonight. We'll see what happens. I say 27-26 is going to be a close game. Your boy out of here. Y'all have a good one. We out.